What's up, creative? My name is Philip, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, so today we are actually going to look at how to create a, a simple birthday um, bakachi flyer for a client. Yeah, so actually, um, I did this uh, design. Yeah, I did this design for a friend of mine. Yes, so actually, he sent me a message in my DMs that he's celebrating his birthday. So I jumped on it and did something real quick for him. Yeah. So yeah, we are going to look at how to come up with this um, simple flyer. All right. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so these are size, um, size selected. Yeah, 10 by 11 inches. Yeah, 10 by 11 inches. So, um, actually, I worked with a, a downloaded background. Yeah, I'll do my possible best to leave the link in the description so that you can also get it. Yeah, all right. So, let's start working. So, come to your file and place embed. Yeah. So it is actually in my downloads. Yeah, and uh, coming. Yeah, yes. So this is the first one I used actually. So you increase it like so to fit in the background. Like so. Yes. All right. So now sometimes the edges looks very bright. So what I actually do is I add some levels. So I'll come to this side and choose my image, come to adjustments and choose the levels. Yes. So with this side selected, I'll just drag it inside a little. Yes. And I think five or set it to six or ten. Ten, yes, or eleven, it's okay. Alright, so let me just um, lock this background like so and bring the image of the of my friend yes so he sent me his image and this is the first picture I used yes yeah, something nice like so so make sure it is center aligned like so yes and now I've been teaching you guys some simple trick to remove background yes so you make sure the image is selected you come to your layer panel select the image and then right click to rasterize it so you choose rasterize layer click on it and then you come to the property panel it will give you quick action so we have remove background select subject view more so you just click on remove background and uh, it will just take off the background from the image all right so yes so as simple as that all right now I have to clear some parts of the image or erase some parts of the image because I don't really need them. So I'll just clear some parts of the image like so. Yes. And then increase the image like so. Increase the image like so yes so and that is done then i'll bring in the other images as well so let me just quickly bring the images here okay so the same procedure to take off the background rasterize remove background Okay, yes, so let me position this image right here real quick. Then bring in the other image as well. Um, good. So I also rasterize and then remove the background real quick. Uh, 
bro, this PC is looking us. Okay, so now I can also position this image right here. Make sure they are of the same size, like so. Now, because they are facing, actually, I don't know whether he got only one post for in a picture or something. So, what we are going to do is we are actually going to send the posture to the other side so you just uh, control T to transform and then right click and then choose flip horizontal yes flip horizontal I think I'll just position this one right here and we are good to go now I'll bring in the final picture before I add my text yes yeah, so let's look for uh, damn the final picture yes like so what okay so yes make sure everything is center aligned like so yes with the same procedure let's uh, take off the background from the picture yes and position it here like so yes let me just yes so guys yeah so um actually i've been adding some um effects camera effect to my images so that makes them look or uh, that makes them stand out yes in my design so this is what we do let's select the first image and then choose filter and come to camera raw filter yes so i have a a, a a file containing some presets for camera raw yes uh keep watching my videos yes yeah i'm just hoping to get hit some targets and then i'll just keep releasing the files yes so um i'm actually joking though that's our next video yes i'll give you some tips in camera so guys let's work on this image uh, let's increase the exposure yes so the exposure you can set it to 35 increase the contrast a little and then increase the texture like so to any um let's leave it at 70 yes and then this is what you do you come here i have my presets already so i'll just load the settings yes so i have uh, and the texture i'm coming to use is uh, intense dramatic portrait so i'll just uh, the preset i'm coming to use is intense dramatic portrait so i'll just click on it open it and then voila yes so i'll just leave it for click ok for it to load yes so yes now uh, another thing the final thing to do after adding the preset is you adjust the brightness yes you adjust the brightness a little like so and then we are good to go okay so with these ones i'm just going to uh, increase brightness because the i can also add more effects to it so i'll just increase brightness like so this one shall increase the brightness like so and this one to just increase the brightness yes i don't want the video to be long like i'll add a lot of effects to the images all right so now let's come to uh text you know actually i did something behind the i use an ellipse tool behind him yes to host this three images down there yeah actually i can leave it like this and add my images to it yes so um i just yes and let me click on it and set the color to white yes like so and make sure it is center aligned like so yes so let me click it on it and bring it behind all the images like so and then we are good to go so let me drag this down 
yes so guys yes you see we have something nice right here right now now um there is this kind of fire thing i've been doing in my images that will get make the design get a, new, a whole new look yes so this is what you can do yeah so actually the design is here so let me send the fire into the design like so yes so i'll just bring it on top of the first image which is the one with only the head like so and drag it like so make sure i bring it down a little like so and drag it like so making sure yes now i'll also you know done i'll just duplicate it like so and bring it on top of the images like so and bring it here duplicate this one too and bring it here so that it reflects on this guy right here duplicate this guy too and bring it here so that it reflects on the other guy and guys let me send it back also a little yes bring this guy right here real quick and so when I turn off the sun, you see a whole different look. I bring it in, you see another look, and I think with the sun, it looks so amazing. Yes. So let me just reduce this guy. Yeah, like so. And we are good to go. Okay. So when you're done with this, you can just probably add your text. Yeah, so happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. Yes, so let's work with our text like so. So I think I used Ascent Serif or Ascent SF. That's the name of the font. So just click on this like so and type happy. No, let me type them in caps. Happy like so. Center align it like so. Increase. Sorry, guys, my PC is running slow. So let me increase it like so. Yes. And then it, duplicate it. Drag it down. And type B, D, A, Y. Yes, let me see if that what I typed. Yes, so you just increase this one to like so. And then select the two in the layer, layer panel and bring them behind all the images like so. Yes. So you can also add a gradient to the text like so. I'll so choose a gradient overlay and then add this orange and red type of fill. Yes, and add the same orange and red type of fill to the birthday. Yeah, so you can see it is not working in the background. So um, so this is what you're gonna do. You can just click on it, come to the FX. And then come to inner glow here, yeah, inner glow, and then choose a color like yellow, yellow by light, something very light, yellow like so. Yes, and then increase the and increase the brightness like so, and see how it's working in the design. Yes, so I'll click on the other one too, and set it to inner glow. Yes, and increase it like so to work for the B, and we are good to go. Yes, so the next thing to do is um, this one. I just place it there for a fancy look or something, but you can create a rectangle in front of the guy right here. A rectangle like so, bring it here, 
yes and then you come to your property panel and then drag the side to any number yes and then set it to gradients and choose the same gradients like so but let me change the let me set it to 170 yeah i think the angular displacement of them all right guys so so what is what you have to do um you can also add the same inner glow effect to the rectangle like so but decrease the opacity a little like that and uh, let me yes yeah, i think with this we are good to go yes now we can type our happy birthday yes yeah, so i wrote one in black like so so this one i'll go for gotham and type happy happy but bro happy birthday like so and then reduce it reduce it like so make sure it is center aligned reduce it a little again now let me change the font type from thin to medium like so and then kernel it like so and make sure it is center aligned yes so that is done and we can now type something here which really says the our guy is celebrating his birthday yes so we come to type a simple message here which is oh let me set this to zero and then choose stretch sounds yes stretch lines type happy birthday yeah that one is very visible like so yes so just reduce it like so so that it fits into the yes and let me increase this part like so and increase this side to like so and control a to center align the text let me select the rectangle to control a to center align it and guys we are good to go so happy birthday and his name is uh let me bring it down uh, he is a minister of us bro so he's a minister so minister kofi yes yes so you can leave it like this guys uh, let's, uh, you must work on your font alignment let me reduce it again yes yeah and then make sure it is center align you can just click on control a and then choose this slide like so center aligns it okay so let's kennel the minister kofi a little like so and uh, reduce it and again control a and click on this side to center alignment and we are good to go so guys you can with that achieved you can also add more effect to the design see you kindly subscribe to the channel share come leave your comment leave a suggestion yes and see you in the next video